Making movies in a pandemic is hard. Even though a lot of filmmakers were put out of work, I really didn't want to let the pandemic slow down my learning process as a filmmaker. So I looked at what was around me. A Viking hall set in the garage from a past short film, a beautiful and talented wife, and three beautiful cats to choose from. And the last leg was born. Now, since it was only my wife and I to both act in and crew the short film, we had to get pretty creative with how to shoot it. In over-the-shoulder shots, we'd put pieces of our costumes on mannequins to simulate that person being in frame. Or in the case of the first two shot, I held a string under the table that was tied to an unbalanced jib so that loosening the string would raise the jib. Another challenge was bringing an indoor cat outdoors, then into the garage where there are a thousand new sights and smells, so one of us always had to be wrangling Jack, convincing him to try and stay in place. So in the final edit, when it looks like all three of us are at the table, I actually wrangled Jack for Kristen's take, and when we got that, I shot a separate plate of me sitting in frame without the cat and spliced them in post to bring the three of us together. Now, as it was just the two of us getting audio on set would have been an added challenge and an added role for us to take on. So we opted to record everything in post-production with a Rode video mic and just sync it to the final cut. Now this is not a perfect process, uh, I never feel like I get it 100%, but what it does is free us up on set to just focus on the visuals and make sure we're getting that right. Finally, I felt the short needed an exterior shot to kind of establish our environment, and I couldn't quite find any stock footage that was doing it for me. So with some spare cardboard boxes, twigs, and popsicle sticks that I spent way too long carving, some white paint, and some powdered sugar, we had a Viking cabin. We went outside on our overcast day and shot the cabin against a white backdrop and added some more sugar to help simulate the blizzard, and we had our opening and closing shots. Hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look into the last leg. Bye-bye now. Thank you.